In November of 1985, one of the most catastrophic natural disasters in the history of Colombia occurred. The eruption of the Nevado del Ruiz volcano claimed the lives of over 23,000 people, including that of 13-year-old Amira Sanchez. Her harrowing struggle for survival was broadcasted on television for days, and a photograph of her taken during her final moments won the World Press Photo Contest. The incident generated serious debates worldwide on how tragic events and their victims are presented by the often sensationalist media. Nevado del Ruiz, located in the Andes Mountains in central Colombia, had not shown any activity since the 1840s. In September 1985, nearby towns and villages began to notice unusual noises emanating from the 5,300-meter-high volcano. Despite the urging of scientists and journalists to evacuate the area, the Colombian government was preoccupied with the leftist guerrilla movements and ignored the volcano. On November 13 at 3.06 p.m., Nevado del Ruiz erupted and spewed volcanic ash over the town of Armero. Two hours later, the local Red Cross began evacuating the town, but the ashfall soon subsided, so they halted the operation. The real nightmare began when everything seemed calm. During the night, 30 meters of volcanic mud made from melted snow poured down and destroyed the town, turning it into ruins. The 28,000 residents of Armero were caught unaware in their sleep, and 21,000 of them lost their lives. The mud flow also destroyed 13 surrounding villages, causing a total of 23,000 fatalities and transforming the area into a modern-day Pompeii. 13-year-old Amira Sanchez survived the mud flow but became trapped under the remains of her collapsed home. The rescue team attempted to free the teenage girl, but their efforts were in vain. Amira was trapped, with her waist pinned between a roof beam and a stone door, and her aunt's corpse wrapped around her lower body. It was impossible to extricate her without sawing her body in half. The local and international media quickly turned their attention to the disaster-stricken area and the teenage girl fighting for her life. Television crews and reporters filmed and interviewed Amira, who remained conscious and gave interviews as her physical condition relentlessly deteriorated. She asked for sweets and soda from one reporter and sang a Colombian folk song to herself at another time. Eventually, she began to hallucinate, complaining that she was being scolded for being late for school. The girl struggled for a total of 60 hours until her body gave up the fight, and she passed away on November 16 at 10 a.m. due to hypothermia and gangrene. On that same morning, barely three hours before the girl's death, Frank Fournier, a photojournalist from the New York-based Contact Press Agency, arrived at the scene. He captured the image of Amira emerging from the mud and clinging to a wooden beam with her whitened hand, staring almost lifelessly at the camera. The shocking photograph, published six months later, brought the Colombian tragedy to the world's attention and sparked outraged opposition to the country's government which had done nothing to prevent the catastrophe. The image brought the World Press Photo Contest's top prize to its creator, but Fournier also received a lot of criticism. Critics argued that the French photographer had profited from the girl's suffering instead of trying to help or alleviate her suffering. The TV crews and journalists also faced numerous criticisms, and the incident generated serious debates about the responsibility and ethics of the media hungry for suffering pornography. After her death, Amira became a national icon, and her grave still attracts many local and foreign visitors who pray and ask the heavens not to let the tragedy happen again. The eruption of the Nevado del Ruiz volcano was not only a tragic event but also a wake-up call to the world. The disaster exposed the shortcomings of the Colombian government's emergency response system and sparked a national and international conversation about the importance of disaster preparedness and prevention. 
Since then, the Colombian government has made significant improvements to its emergency response system, including the establishment of a national disaster risk management agency. In addition, the country has implemented a series of measures to mitigate the risks of natural disasters, such as the installation of early warning systems and the development of evacuation plans. The Nevado del Ruiz tragedy also highlighted the vital role of the media in times of crisis. While the media has a responsibility to report on such events, it must do so in a sensitive and ethical manner, with respect for the dignity and privacy of the victims. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. And be sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new uploads. We appreciate your support and hope to see you again soon.